And welcome back. It's time for this week's Capital Report with Pat McGuigan of CapitalBeatOK.com. Pat, let's talk about tax collections. In Oklahoma, you know, they have continued to drop. Uh, we've often covered this news from the state level, uh, which continues to illustrate the state's challenges. But the recent data, data from city government is also pretty glum. Uh, why don't you uh, review that? Hey, you know, the Oklahomans done good reporting and the state itself has issued its reports and the city its reports. And the current month report for the city of Oklahoma City, uh, sales tax revenues uh, were dropped by about 2.8% from uh, December 2014. The sales tax receipts are down in four of the last six months. So you're starting to see data for the city sort of echoing uh, the data for the state for more months. The, um, as for the state, Ken Miller did his regular report. And the revenues are down seven months in a row. So it's pretty clear that, you know, we're in a, a serious situation challenge in terms of sufficient uh, flow of revenue. Now, what's interesting, you have the growing impact of a downtime for the energy industry, but you have combined with that the madness <laughs> of some of the antagonism to the state's heritage industries, particularly uh, the energy industry. Yes. And that's got me concerned, the depth of hatred uh, for the gal that brung us, if you will, to use, a, you know, always dance with the gal mm -hmm. that brung you, uh, an old expression from the country. Natural resources have built the U.S. and Oklahoma economy. And uh, that's the first thing to consider, of course, while considering ways to adapt to a different kind of future. I'm also concerned because at the time all of this is going on, there's serious talk of a tax increase. I mean, it, it's ludicrous. There's not an example of a tax increase solving economic problems. Uh, we need a freer economy, not uh, a more burdened one, in order to go forward. All right. You recently covered a uh, provocative speech about regulation of school choice by a top academic analyst. Tell us about that. University of Arkansas's Professor Jay Green came to town and spoke at the Oklahoma Council of Public Affairs on mounting attempts to increase regulation of school choice programs. In particular, he's concerned about the mounting testing regime, which in some ways respect, uh, echoes public school people uh, being concerned. Uh, and some Congress has taken some steps to relieve some of that pressure. He says it's the number one opportunity to improve education in America is to increase and make more robust school choice program and the number one threat is to increase regulation. So uh, I also want to mention uh, very quickly that uh, another professor from Arkansas is going to come to town and talk about the last time they increased taxes in the midst of a downtime and Hillary uh -huh. Clinton was part of that. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of education, you have some news to share. Well, I have been teaching and doing journalism and I'm still going to be teaching, uh, but I'm going to try to make the journalism side a higher percentage proportion of my work because uh, I'm more convinced than ever as the profession faces challenges and the business model seems to be declining, nonetheless, we need to have more vigor in the journalistic fraternity. Yes, we do. All right, Pat, and you can read more about these and other topics at capitalpeedok.com. For Pat McGuigan, the journalist, and Alex Cameron, have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.